How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this week's video, I'm racing the 2021 Queensland All School Cross Country Championships. So, uh, All Schools is kind of like pre-states, but there's still four positions uh, available for the National Cross Country team. The other six positions are decided at Queensland, uh, the, well, the Queensland Cross Country Championships. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to this, this afternoon. So I race at 3.35 p.m. 6k course it's the same course as our uh, state cross country last year so it's at limestone uh very hilly but um i've actually got my sat today as well so it's gonna be a very very busy day so i'm gonna be doing exams all day and then i uh, have to go race at all skills on uh the salvo so big day i'm not sure how much i'm gonna be able to record obviously but i'm gonna be taking tests so uh i guess you'll just be watching clips of the race and maybe bits and pieces but yeah with that, I'm going to go do my 3K shakeout. Uh, it's about 6.40. My exam started in about 80 minutes. So, uh, got to better get move on, eat breakfast, stuff like that. And, yeah. just finished taking the SAT uh, you know some post thoughts that that was pretty easy uh, multiple choice exams and that really hard well it was easy to a certain extent I don't think I did well in the math part but every other part did alright so yeah all right we'll see how we go on that I didn't study for it so I'm gonna take it a few more times to see what kind of score I can get but this one is kind of just you know getting one on the board so then my next one I can uh, have a little bit less pressure to do really well so yeah that was that was alright and about to head over the Ipswich now, so it should be good. <laughs>
Scamatti. Put it to him, mate. Let's go, Matty. Let's go, Matty!
That's it, Matty. Drive it in, mate. Keep driving. Drive it down the hill, drive him up. Him. Come on. How's it going guys? So it's post race now. Uh, we had, I had Taco Bell, because I hadn't had lunch yet, and I've had a massive day, so I had my SAT exam. Uh, I went for you know a few hours, and straight to Ipswich to run the cross country. So as you saw from the clips, it's pretty brutal course. I'll put the Strava right here, but uh, yeah, you know, 140 meters over 6K uh, is pretty brutal. Uh, I don't know what that is in feet, but uh, yeah. It is uh, quite hilly, it was either up and down most of the way, so uh, yeah, I was quite happy with my run, so I ran 317s for 6k, so the course they changed it slightly to make it a bit longer, because last year at States it was like 5.6, 5.7 maybe, so it was pretty much bang on 6k this time, so QA's done a great job in you know, recalibrating and uh, getting the feedback back from the athletes and stuff about the course, so yeah, brutal course. Pretty happy my run, 317s. I ran 320s at States last year to win pretty comfortably. So obviously um, with roughly same kind of temperatures. It was maybe a little bit hotter last year, but to the, uh, today it was still pretty hot. It was 26 degrees, which is whatever Fahrenheit. I think about 75, 80 Fahrenheit. So uh, yeah, pretty hot still and ran a lot better. And I actually felt really strong throughout. It was only when that move was made, I sort of, I'm not sure if it was caught on camera, but uh, Archie Ridgeway, one of the guys uh, a year below me so he's under 17 uh, he just took off and none of us went with him so he pretty much had an instant gap and then from there I uh, wasn't feeling great uh, kind of last lap was really singing that last few hills I was really singing got dropped and uh, pretty, tried to hold on so I had the guys behind me I had uh, Jackson Cacciola and Marley Wagner who are both really really good cross country runners uh, I had them uh, just behind me so at least I had some you know I kind of knew I wasn't going to catch the guys in front, so uh, because they had made a pretty big gap on me, but I knew the guys behind me were catching me pretty quick, so that was, that was my next goal, to try and beat the guys behind me and try and hold them onto my position. Uh, Marley got me on the last hill, but I uh, actually finished pretty strong to hold off Jack's, uh, Jacko, who uh, I've done training with before and stuff, and he's a really, really good cross-country runner. So overall, I'm uh, actually really happy for that. Um, even though I came third in my age group, but you know, you win some, you lose some, and it's early days. Uh, I'll get back on the hills. Uh, where me and the boys are heading out to uh, Watson Road tomorrow morning to do a long run over the hills and on the dirt roads. Uh, I've made a video about my long runs out there, so it's gonna be a good morning and uh, yeah, uh, big week. I also race Thursday as well right here. Uh, which, you know, you could also say that that affects me a bit today. But anyhow, great run, very busy, but enjoyable. Oh, my friend is a flip. Enjoyable day, but uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this week's video and uh, hopefully another video soon.